Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Jen in the house. So today um, I wanted to use the Natasha Denona gold palette and do a little eye look and chat about the new year. So happy new year to you. Um, so I'm going to show you a picture of the palette inside and out and a picture of the swatches. Unfortunately, um, I went to try to look at it today to figure out what kind of look I was going to do. And um, this shadow right here fell out, broke in half. Luckily, I got it put back in the pan um, and everything's okay, but disappointing for a very, very expensive palette. So I don't want to hold it up. I don't want to rub my fingers in them and do the swatches. So I'm just going to, by default, show you those and then just get on into it. So if you want to see me use the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, talk about the new year and life goals, then keep on watching. Okay, so I like to put my hair back and have it out of the way um, <laughs> to do my eyeshadow. So let's go ahead and start now. I'm going to go ahead and show you the photograph of the outside of the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. It is fabulous in all its gold glory. And then on the inside, um, I can't remember how many shadows are in here. Dun, 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 dun. Five times three, 15. So a 15 pan eyeshadow palette. Does retail for $129. Um, this is my favorite eyeshadow formula that's out there, including Pat McGrath. Um, Jeffree Star is a very, very, they are like tight running right there with each other. Those are my top two formulas. So the inside of the palette looks like so. And then the swatches, um, I loved this photo for the swatches because it shows the different color skin tones and what it looks like on those skin tones. And so there's something for everybody to figure out if you like it, yay or nay, will it work for you or not? Nah? So um, there you have it. That's what it looks like and that's what we're gonna get on into. Um, for the most part, this is a very neutral palette. There are two colors. I said I wasn't going to do this, but I will. These two colors right here are the only thing that are like the pop of color. The rest of it is very neutral, very gold, very going to look great on some hazel eyes. So let's get on into using it. All right, so I moved you in. We can see a little bit better. Um, let's see, there are names for these so we'll see if i can do them without butchering them first i'm going to use aria and this is just a nice transition color um, it's very close to sandstone but it's just a tad bit lighter it's a nice neutral brown gotta have a mirror to get ready here sometimes the colors in the pan look a little bit darker on the eye than it does in the pan and that's okay um, so it's the new year. Yesterday was New Year's Eve. You'll be watching this a day later. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go in with my unique fluffy crease brush here and try to blend that out there. I got it a little bit spotty, but again, I have hooded eyes. So of course that's a lot of times my eye shape. So I'll just take a puff of some kind and pull the skin and then we can get the skin nice and flat so we can get in there and have no like skid marks because that's what I think they look like. So that's just my skin. That's not the eyeshadow performance. And then we'll just do a little blending. So last night I just watched the regular stuff that's on for like New Year's Eve or whatever on the TV. Um, Dick Clark and Carson Daly and Ryan Seacrest and all of those people. So that's what I did. I didn't do anything big or bad or fun. We did play smart ass. So that's a really fun game. We got it um, as a family Christmas gift. On my dad's side, they like to give out like a family gift. And so we got um, a trip to Branson to the Falls Creek, um, like sweets and resorts place. So we'll go there for a weekend as a family together, the four of us. And then we have our game that we can play when we're not out doing stuff gonna be so fun I can't wait I love that they do that like give you a gift that you can really use with everyone that you know quality time is something that is priceless so I'm looking forward to that they booked it for um the Valentine's Day weekend and my partner Maggie her birthday's on the 12th so kind of be cool to be like a 
Valentine's slash it's her birthday. Let's go get away kind of trip. Let me drop everything. So that's what we're doing there. I am getting ready with you right now. And then I'm going to head out to Walmart, go to the pharmacy, pick up birth control, and then um, come back and make some black eyed peas and some dinner. All right. So that looks pretty good. I like to work from the top to the bottom. If you're new here, sorry, I should have explained that. Um, I have hooded eyes, so I like to work from the top to the bottom, all the way out, keep it nice and symmetrical. I do my facial makeup first, but y'all, I totally forgot to put on any primer, and then I totally forgot to put on concealer. So we're just rocking it here with the foundation, um, which isn't a terrible thing, but it's not my favorite, you know, because I can see my freckles and all that. So we were over at my son's the other day on the 30th. And my partner made him um, a really nice headboard to go on his bed. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check out my Vlogmas, like what I got for Christmas slash my birthday video. And it will be on there. It's so cool. It lights up. It's so rad. Um, so we went over there and we were putting together his bed and stuff. And what didn't you know, um, there was another bed frame. So we were helping the neighbor and he was going to get the old box springs off my mom's bed because um, she got a new one. And then, um, yeah, so we take the old frame and it's in the hallway and my, my son's girlfriend is there. She's like, yeah, it's a little bit hard to get apart. I got one of the things apart, like the frame to take it apart. She said, but it was really hard and on like I didn't want to hurt myself. So I just quit. I should have taken and heeded that small amount of advice. But no, my partner yells from the other room and she's like, Jen, can you take apart that other bed frame so we can get it put up over at Carol's house? And then, um, you know, he'll have his bed, your mom's bed will be all together and everything will be fine. So I'm like, well, I really don't want to. Brittany already said that this was hard to do. So I was like, I don't know but I do it anyway. So we move it into the living room and we're getting ready. I'm getting ready to take the legs apart. So I got one of them apart and it was really difficult. So I was like, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of leery of doing this, you know, but, um, so I carried on anyway. And in my carrying on, I went to go do the next one and the bed frame I was pushing and I had my hand holding here. And when I pushed it, let go. And this piece came whap, hit me in the face like this, literally like this. So I had a little pop knot here. It's really sore right through here. I'm starting to get a bruise. And then uh, my lip, yes. So the top part here is a little bit bruised right here. And then down here was really bruised and fat and my chin is bruised. Um, Y'all, it was a whole thing. So all in all, we got it moved over and set up and everybody has their bed. It's in their place. And my son's bed looks so amazing. Um, I'm so excited for him because it's just so nice to have like a headboard and like, you know, you, your room feels complete and you feel like a grown up. And I really like it. My partner did ours. Um, and she has made a lot of things. So she made my son a whole bed, like a bunk bed looking thing but underneath instead of having a bunk I just stab myself in the eye with the brush um it's got like a desk underneath and he plays his games and does all that stuff so it's just really really neat little setup like she can build anything it's got a cup holder an extra tv stand like the whole nine yards so everybody's like hooked up with the bed now and everybody has a frame and they're up off the floor and they're nice and comfortable and so that's really good. So I'm excited for that. Um, yes. But now I'm trying to decide if I should do, I have something on the side of my nose and I don't know what it is. Okay. Got it. Um, so now I'm trying to decide, do we, um, like we're going to go today, we're going to get medicine, we're going to make black eyed peas. Um, and then tomorrow I have a dentist appointment, but I'm trying to decide 
if I still want to upload three days a week. Um, my issue with that is, okay, the next color I'm going to go into is the color, squeeze me, um, Dijon. Yes. It's like a Dijon mustard color. It's really cute. Kind of goldy type thing. We're just going to go in a little bit lower with that. This is a Morphe E17 that we're using here. And um, so that's what I'm trying to decide. I'm not doing as many unboxings because I'm only getting Boxy Base, Boxy Charm, and then our Boxy Base, Boxy Premium, and then I think I might cancel my Boxy Lux. I don't know. I have a couple months to decide that. And then um, I'm still getting the Ipsy Plus and the Ipsy Ultimate, but I'm thinking about canceling the Ipsy Ultimate. Um, I didn't cancel it for this month because I got to choose like a flat iron or a curling iron. And although I like my flat iron, I would really like to have one of the nice expensive ones. So I'm keeping it because that alone pays for what the box would be. So all the other stuff is just like an extra added bonus really per se. Um, so yeah. All right. We're going to go with Dijon again. Do the same kind of zhuzh here. I think this eyeshadow palette will look fabulous um, with hazel eyes, like no matter what look you do. And I love the formula of her stuff. It's divine. Um, does anybody like the new, like the new little mini glam palette that she has? Is anybody going to get that? I know I'm making a lot of noise here. Let me know if you're going to get that, if you like it. I watched Mel Thompson and Samantha March do comparisons. So they're not like the mini gold um, or the nude, the little mini nude, because I have both. So when I first saw it, I automatically thought of the mini gold and the mini nude. I was like, oh, this is just they had a baby type thing. And then I saw the swatches and I saw Mel use them and compare it to other palettes. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, I don't really tend to reach for the minis or the little smaller five pan that are bigger than the minis as often as the full size palettes. So I don't know if that would be like a thing I particularly needed to do. But um, the next color we're going to go to is Teak, T-E-A-K. It's just a little bit deeper of a brown and we're just going to go in here, go a little bit lower with that. We're just building that lid and that depth that we don't naturally have. And these colors blend into each other just like a dream. Like they fade effortlessly and I love it so much. What I can't decide is should I wear a bronze color on the lid today? Or should I do a gold color? I know it's the gold palette, but like y'all, color. This one, ah, uh, your girl. What about this one? Chrome. Yes. Okay. So they're all beautiful and nobody knows what to wear. <sighs> so many different textures and like beautiful stuff. So let's just go in with that color teak. I'm just going to run it here connect it and then keep going. So I didn't really have any, um, new year goals, new year resolutions. What do you guys call them? Do you guys set them? Do you love a good new year's resolution or nah? Um, I wanted to start working out again, but I know you should do things until you feel like doing it, not wait until you feel like doing it, like do it and then keep doing it until it's something you feel like doing is like what you should be doing. And I know I shouldn't should you to should you is to shame you, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I bought a new Jillian's Michael, um, cardio tape and I have a couple other ones. I have yoga and then I have the Leslie Sandstone or whatever it is. It's like the five mile walk. So I thought about doing those and just like starting out small, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like be able to hold myself accountable. And I feel like everybody makes that new year's resolution of I'm going to work out, help me to work out, be my accountability buddy. I don't have an accountability buddy. Everybody looks at me and goes, yeah, I mean, just do it. If you're going to do it, just do it. 
so I'm just blending everything really nicely here and then we're gonna go into that outer corner and then we'll do the lids I don't want to make this terribly long so I, um, I am gonna be using the ColourPop overboard gel pot liner I love these ow I just got the whole set but I was really sad the other day I went to use the gold one and it just like fell out it was so dry it just fell out but the other ones don't seem to be that way so I don't know I guess I'll just try to find a way to hydrate it I put some primer oil and some other things in it so we'll see if that helps all right and we're just gonna line here so yeah I can't believe I forgot to do all that but here we are and we're still getting ready and we're still doing the damn thing we're just gonna bring this out here make this look like the other eye and we're creating the lift the lift the lift all right big brush and fluff big brush and fluff okay fluff and fluff so my new year's resolution is to be more present in my partner and my children's life to be the person that they want to pick up the phone and be like, hey, this happened to me, or oh my God, this happened to me. I wanna be the person that they pick up the phone and call in an event, you know, when something's happening. So the next one I'm gonna go use is log. Obviously, it's gonna be dark brown like a log. We're just gonna do this on the outer corner and lift that outer corner. So pretty. Um, you know, share their moments, be present with them, take my free time and spend it with them, learn to do things that they like to do and hope that they want to do the same thing with me. You know, um, that's my goal. That's what I want for this year. I want to be closer to my children and my partner. I want to be a better partner and I want to be a better mom. Uh, we are going to get my son hooked up for college. Um, he can finally file for his VA chapter 35 through his father. I was trying to think of the word, but, um, so yeah, so we're going to get him hooked up with that and he's going to get to go to college finally. He's been graduated two years. Yeah. No, one year. Um, it'll be two, like at the end of this, at the end of this school year. So one in a little bit. But he's going to get to go do that and it's going to be so good for him. I'm so excited. I know that some people think college isn't worth it or it's not worth the money or it sucks or whatever, whatever, but college is worth it. Um, having a degree is worth it. I got to go get a brush to swipe away a little bit of fallout. So I'll be right back. All right. I just, um, I blend out a lot and so it kind of like you know trickles out but it's not a big deal so let me put my microphone back on sorry oh okay let's grab this little brush again this is a 506 and we're gonna go in with that dark brown color again i just want to make sure that these two sides are nice and even and then we're gonna go in um, with that first transition shade that we started with and we're gonna color like make them blend better from the corner of the eye to the outer corner of the eye, if that makes sense. Ta-da! All right. Now we're going to go back, baby, back. We're going to use a Luxie 229. We're going to go back with that first color Aria that we used, and we're going to take our puffer here. We're going to pull our eye, and we're just going to make sure that this blends seamlessly and effortlessly and then we're gonna go to this other side and do the same zhuzh that we just did because we just want it to be nice and seamless and lovely looking and fade fabulously blend the outer corners just a little bit more ta-da of course it wouldn't be a video that I made if I didn't fucking drop something. All right, anything that might be under the eye will now be gone and we're gonna pick a lid color. 
I don't know what to do here. I'm very, very torn. I quite like this color. It's got like a duochrome flip, like goldish green. And since I'm wearing green today, I feel like that's appropriate. There's this one that's like a white, but it's got like a gold flip. It really reminds me of the Pat McGrath special shade in the number five palette. So I like that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna use the E55 by Sigma and I'm just gonna dip into that color Lime Chrome. And I'm gonna use it dry at first just to see. Oh my God, that is so, so pretty. I'm trying to hold my mirror down so you can see. It's not very opaque. So I'm gonna go get some Mac Fix Plus and I'll BRB. Ta-da! Mac Fix Plus in rose, and we're just gonna get that brush wet there. Tap it off, and then we're just gonna go in again. Oh, that's better. That's way better. And get that on that lid. I feel like this might be like a topper shade. Like you might need to put a different color on and then put that on. So let's try Lime Chrome with the finger. Oh, that's way better. Okay, so I would suggest applying it with that finger. So Natasha Denona did a buy one get one free palette sale on her main, like her website, not somebody else's, but hers. I'm gonna take some Huda powder and go up underneath that eye and blend that out. God, that color is fan fucking tastic. Um, so I lost track of what I was saying, but let's talk about something new. Um, piece of candy. No. <laughs> Mac Fix Plus again, re-wet for this next one. We're going to do the lime chrome again on the other eye. So I got some American Eagle jeans for Christmas. And um, I had to take some back and get a smaller size because I thought I wore a bigger size than I actually did. And fun story. Oh, I think I've already said this, that they carry the larger like zero through 24 in store now. We're gonna go back in and do the finger again with the lime chrome. So freaking pretty. Um, so yeah, you can buy zero through 24 in store at American Eagle now. But I went in store and they didn't have the style that I wanted in store. So I had to have them order it and send it to my home. And the first pair that I got, I was so excited about. I love them so much. And uh, they were great. Everything was great. Then I get another bag that has two other pairs. I'm still waiting on one more. And the two in that bag smell like mildew so bad. Like they had just been wet or washed or I don't know and not dried and nobody gave a damn. And it was awful. So I thought, well, I'll wash them washed them, put them in the dryer with some other clothes and everything in there smelled like mildew. So I put them back in the washing machine, extra smell beads, extra laundry detergent, extra um, fabric softener, everything. I did a pre-soak and I did an extra rinse just to make sure that we are getting the smell out. You know what I mean? I get these fucking pants out of the washing machine and they still fucking stink like mildew. So I got this stink be gone spray to put on them and then I got some... Uh, what do you call that stuff? I'm going to go in with a little bit of Varus, which is that bronzy color. And I just want to go in on this outer corner here just a little bit and make it a little bit darker. I just really have wanted to use that color since I got the thing. <laughs> um, so I don't know what to do. So if you have any ideas about what to do for clothing that stinks, because when it came out of the washer, I didn't put it in the dryer. I separated everything out. Um, I hung up the jeans and I put the stink be gone spray all over them and we'll see once they dry if it's any better but if you know of anything that really works to get like nasty stinky smells out of laundry please let me know because they're brand new and although I could call American Eagle and be like hey these were stinky can I have some other ones I've already washed them so I can't send them back now I thought that it would be good enough but it wasn't all right inner friggin corner we're gonna go with the color cava yeah i think that's the one i want to use and we're just gonna take our little sephora number 18 pro shader this is my favorite and we're just gonna 
fix plus that as well. Got that all over my mirror. Okay. And then we're just going to dip in that color. We're going to pop that on the inner corner. Oh, it's so, so pretty. And then I'm going to go over it with a little bit of sparks, which is like the whiter with the gold in it. Because I just want to lighten that just a tad bit. Looks so gorge. All right, let's go again. Carrot on that inner corner. And then we'll go in with sparks on top of that again. And set that right on top. That is so pretty. Okay. Now we got to think about the highlight bone. Let's think about the bone. Let's just go in with that white that we just did with a little bit of gold shift. And it's got some glitter in it, so it'll be a little bit different of a look. But that's okay. I'm into different this year. I'm not into keeping up with all the makeup trends and all of the new releases and things like that. I just want to get what I like and what I want to try. And then I want to try it and do cool things with it and just be different. I'm going to go back in with log and we're just going to deepen that back up and cover up any sort of fallout or glitter that's gotten on that outer corner. And we're just going to make it look lovely again. Not that it doesn't still, but I just like to deepen and redo before we finish. And then we're just going to clean up here. Oh my gosh. Two times. All right. Anything that might have fallen. I don't know. I can't really see under the beauty lights, but probably not anything. Um, we're going to go in with Overboard from ColourPop. This is like a brown kind of shimmer color. Love this so much. Um, and then I'm going to take my E65 Small Angle by Sigma. Oh, it's so soft. Yay. It's not like the gold one. And we're just going to go right here along the bottom. And we're just going to kind of line the eye. This is just going to make it look kind of shiny and smoky and really cute looking. And I was trying not to get up that high with it. Oh my gosh, really, Jennifer? Girl, boo, with your slippery ass hand. So I started taking birth control because I couldn't get my periods regular. Sometimes I was missing them. Sometimes they'd be like 10, 14 days long. And it was just really taking a toll on me and my hormones and my emotions and the people around me, especially. Can you imagine? Um, and so I went and got some birth control for my doctor. And now it's like day four. I finally started, but it's not really much of anything. So I don't know what to do. I don't want to take any other pills. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do that to myself. So I'm just wiping away. I'm just taking a little bit of powder on that brush and I'm just wiping away that spot where I got that eyeliner. Ta-da. Okay. And we're just going to do the next eye. This one's super soft. And that's what I'm saying. They're normally really soft, but like the gold one, can't get it to work. And that's like the one I wanted to use the most. Duh. I got a gold eyeshadow palette. I want to use gold eyeliner. Um, but not happening. So I'm going to see if you guys have any suggestions on what to do to rehydrate, um, like a gel pot liner, let me know. Cause I need to know your hacks. And this is going on way thicker than what I wanted, but beggars can't be choosers sometimes. All right. Yeah not working out the way I had planned but now I gotta make them both even so we watched the movie don't let go on Redbox the other night totally cray cray not gonna lie to you but it was actually really really good it's about this um, cop and his family like his 
niece and um, brother and stuff get murdered and um, she keeps calling she's like in another dimension another time zone or something and it hasn't happened yet in her time and it's really just like a it's a real thriller and it's it's a fabulous movie if you haven't seen it you should go see it I'm gonna go back to this number 18 shader and we're gonna go back into that chrome lime and I just want to sweep some more on here and kind of smoke away the top of that harsh line on that liner and get it all nice and blended in together. All right. So of course, when your eyeliner gets that thick, it makes your fucking eye disappear, your lid or whatever they call it. Um, so there's that. I really want to learn how to do, um, what do they call it? Oh gosh, everybody does it. It's on, oh, a cut crease for a hooded eye. That's what I want to learn how to do. Like soon and very soon. Okay. So I'm going to go into the color, um, Arum and I just want to put some of that gold. It's like a goldy bronze color down here on the bottom lash line. Just really tight, like right here. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. I think it'll look really flattering with my eye color and the little flecks that I have in my eye. Ta-da. All right. So I'm going to do my mascara and lipstick. I'll come back and I'll tell you my thoughts. Okay. 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 So I finished up with some layers of mascara. <laughs> um, I used the BFF lippy pencil and the BFF number two lippy pencil so I could define it a little bit darker in the corners. And then I used KKW nude number three and in the middle KKW nude number one. And then I topped it off with a little bit of Bite Beauty with gold. Um, I thought it would just be a really nice touch to go uh, with the lid. And then the actual color of the lip liner and stuff kind of matches the transition shades in the eye. So I really like for my lips to sort of match my eyes and my motif that I have going on. Um, my hair is just naturally wavy and curly, so I've been letting that curl flag fly. Um, my hair is growing very quickly. I'm thoroughly impressed with it. I've been using the R plus CO curl primer. Um, so it's helped my hair not look frizzy, but still look, you know, nice and done, even though I'm not doing anything to it. So, um, that's it. That's all. That's the look. That's the palette. Um, let's see. We used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors out of the 15 colors. Dun, 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 dun. in all its glory. I really don't want anything else to fall out. That's the one that fell out. So this is the palette. This is the look. I covet Natasha Denona eyeshadows. They look great on my hooded eye, no matter what time of day, whether I just did it or I wear it for 15 hours, I go to work in a hot kitchen, you name it. This eyeshadow formula performs well, looks beautiful and is just to die for. So um, if you have the extra coin, I would say this is definitely worth it. Um, the Safari palette I've used a couple times, definitely worth it. Um, and then I do have, I'm going to do a tutorial on the Safari, um, just by itself. Cause I'd like to do, um, just an all matte look. And then I also want to do the Leela because I got that palette as well. So be looking for those. Um, I know I still need to do a lipstick declutter. Don't think that I've forgotten cause I have not, uh, I don't know. This lip color is making my teeth look dirty and they're not. They're really clean, but I have a cleaning appointment tomorrow. So, and then I finish it off with some Tarte Stay Spray. I've been living for this. Um, so that's it. That's all. I will see you guys in the next video. If I go to two days of filming, what two days would you like to see? Like a Tuesday, Saturday, like a weekday weekend? Um, how would you like to do that? Or do you want me to stay my three days a week? Um, let me know. Let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see more cooking? It's a new year. We can do whatever we want. So if you were the first comment on my last video, which would have been my vlogmas, what I got for Christmas, what I got for my birthday video, then your comment will go here. Thank you so much for having your notification bell on, being subscribed, being the first to comment. Um, I love you so, so much. 
And if you want to be featured in the next video, then just be the first comment and then you'll get to be in the next video. All right. Um, do good. Be good. You are good. I'm Jen. I'm in the house and I'm out. Bye-bye.